it's been described as the donation of the century. A treasure trove of art that includes works by some of the world's most renowned and sought-after masters, combined with the most famous of Korean artists, both modern and classical. In addition, a vast wealth of artifacts, charting Korea's cultural heritage, spanning hundreds of years of dynastic rule. This is an unprecedented large-scale donation. It is meaningful in enriching the cultural assets of this museum. Lee Kun-hee not only devoted his life to making Samsung a global brand, but also to building one of the world's largest private art collections. Following his death last October, it was announced his family would pay a record inheritance tax bill of $10 billion. At the same time, donating to the nation a sizable part of the private art collection, totaling 23,000 pieces. Lee Kun Hee's collection can be called a miracle of the world. It will invigorate our donation culture, rewrite the history of modern and contemporary Korean art, and enrich us all. A committee set up to choose a permanent home for the collection has decided upon a specially built museum in Seoul, rejecting attempts by provinces across South Korea to be chosen. And the current predicament facing Lee's son and the de facto head of Samsung has added further controversy. J.Y. Lee is currently serving a two-and-a-half-year prison sentence in a long-running, high-profile bribery case. There's been widespread speculation the donation of this art could be part of a behind-the-scenes deal to get him released. Critics say there shouldn't be any kind of deal and J.Y. Lee should serve his full term, but certainly the size of this gift means the Lee family's popularity has increased significantly, with a recent poll showing a majority of people in favour of granting Lee a pardon. Whatever the immediate impact of this donation, the artistic riches on offer are certain to thrill appreciative art lovers for generations to come. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.